Alright everybody, uh, welcome back to Collisions, Momentum, Impulse. Today we're going to be talking about collisions that are happening in 2D that are perfectly in a left. Okay, so we have a car with a mass of 950 kilograms right here. Uh, a speed of 16 meters per second going east approaches an intersection. So if we can kind of imagine an intersection. So it's on an intersection and then this other car is also on an intersection. Here, a 1,300-kilogram minivan traveling at 21 meters per second is heading for the same intersection going north. The car and minivan collide and stick together. So we can see that they collide and stick together. Find the speed and direction of the wrecked vehicle just after the collision. Okay, so when we're doing problems like this, we want to figure out, we want to separate things into its X and Y components because things are moving in the X direction and also in the Y direction. So how I like to do this is we want to think about the momentum initial in the x direction before the collision and the momentum uh, final in the x direction after the collision. So remember, when we were doing initial, this is before collision. Maybe I'll write it before collision. And then the final is after collision. Okay? If I spelled that right, sorry. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, okay, anyway, let's look at this. So we have... Mass of one car, velocity of one car in the x direction, plus mass of the second car, velocity of two, second car in the x direction, is equal to, they're both going to stick together, so it's going to be m1 uh, plus m2 v final in the x direction. So I guess let's find this final velocity in the x direction when they stick together. So we have 950, that's the mass of the car. It's going in the 16 meters per second in the x direction, so that's just 16 plus the mass of the second car, which is 1,300. And the second car in the x direction at the, before the collision is going zero. It's only going north, so it's, the velocity in the x direction is just zero. And it's going to equal 950 plus 1,300 v final x. Let's find what that final velocity is in the x direction. 950 times 16, uh, that just turns to zero. Divided by 950 parentheses plus 1300, close parentheses. And we get a final velocity of 6.75 meters per second. So we should know in the x direction, when these cars hit each other and they stick together, they're both moving in the x direction, 6.75. But now let's think about the y direction. Let's think about the momentum that they had before they collide in the y direction and the final momentum before they had in the y direction. So we're going to do m1, v1, y, plus m2, v2, y, is equal to m1 plus m2, v final in the y direction. So let's write this all out. m1, 950. And we see this. the first car is now going in the y direction at the very beginning. It's only going the x. So this is 0. Plus m2, which is 1,300. It's moving 21 meters per second in the y direction. It's going up 21 meters per second. So this is going to be equal to 950 plus 1300 uh, final velocity in the y, which we're looking for. Okay, so let's put this in. 1300 times 21 divided by 950 plus 1300 in parentheses. And we should get 12.13 meters per second in the y direction. 12.13 meters per second. So now we know in the y direction... Once they collide, they are going 12.13 meters per second. Okay, so let's kind of figure this out. We know in the x direction, it's going 6.75. In the y, it's going 12.13. So we want to find the speed. So this will give us the speed, the hypotenuse, and this will give us the angle. So let's use Pythagorean theorem to find the speed, 6.75 squared plus 12.13 squared. Square root of that will give us 13.88 meters per second. Now to find the angle, we're going to do inverse of tan, so tan inverse opposite, which is 12.13, divided by uh, adjacent 6.75 will give us the angle. Uh, so then that's going to be 12.13 divided by 6.75, which gives us the angle of 60.9 degrees. Okay? 60.9 degrees. All right, guys, let's try another one of these to see if you guys get it. 
Okay, so a car with a mass of 720 kilograms and a velocity of 22 meters per second, so this situation here, uh, approaching an intersection. A uh, 1,400-kilogram tra uh, truck traveling north is headed for the same intersection. The car and truck collide and stick together. If after they crash, uh, they move at an angle of 64 degrees, how fast was the truck going? Was it past 20 meters per second speed limit? So after they crash, they start moving at an angle of 64 degrees. So let's try to figure this out. So this is gonna, might be a little bit difficult. But let's think about the momentum initial in the x direction and momentum final in the x direction. So before collision and then after collision. So before collision, we have a mass of the first car, 720. It's going 22 meters per second in the x direction. The truck, which is 1,400 kilograms, is not going in the x direction at all at the very beginning. It's just going straight up. So this is just zero. And this is when they hit each other, they're gonna to stick together. So it's gonna be 720 plus 1400. And they're gonna have a final velocity in the x direction. Let's figure out what that final velocity is. 720 times 22, divide by 720 plus 1400. Uh, and we get 7.47 meters per second. Okay? So we know that's how fast it's going in the x direction. Um, okay. So another thing, how, how we can know this? So this next part might be a little confusing. So we know when they hit, they're going to be moving at an angle of 64 degrees. What we should also know is that when they hit, the velocity in the x direction is going to be equal to 7.47 meters per second. What we should know after that is we can find out how fast after, after they hit, they're moving in the y direction. So we can find what this V final in the Y is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use tan to figure that out. So tan of 64 equals opposite V final in the Y divided by hypotenuse 7.47. And let's figure out what V final in the Y is. Tan of 64 times 7.47. And we get 15.32 meters per second. Okay. So now let's let's look at the momentum initial in the y before the collision and momentum final in the y after the collision. So before the uh, collision, 720, but this one is only going to the right, so there's no velocity in the y direction, so that's zero. Plus the other uh, truck, 1400, but we don't know how fast it's moving in the y direction, so we don't know what this velocity is. We know after they crash, they're both going to stick together. But we know after they crash, they have a velocity in the y direction of 15.32. Knowing that, we can find what this v2 is that we're looking for. So let's try to figure this out. 720 plus 1400 uh, times 15.32 divided by 1400. And we see that's going 23.2 meters per second. And it was past the speed limit. It was not going well. Okay, 23.2 meters per second. All right, I hope this is starting to make sense for you guys. Uh, try to do these on your own and pause it if, uh, if you can. It's a lot better to do it on your own than to just follow me. So let's look at this next one. A 950 kilogram car traveling east has a perfect interlast collision with a 1300 kilogram Escalade traveling north. Suppose the speed and direction immediately after the collision were 12.5 meters per second at 42 degrees. Actually, we shouldn't know what this is. <laughs> okay. Find the initial speed of each car. So we don't know what the speed of the Escalade is. We don't know what the speed of the car is. But we do know when they both hit, they're moving at 12.5 meters per second at 42 degrees. Okay. So let's try, let's try to analyze this a little bit. So after they collide, they're going 25 0.5 meters per second. And what we should know is they have an angle of 42 degrees. So we can find actually after they collide what the final velocity in the x is and the final in the y is. So I'm going to do 12.5 times cosine of 42 and I get 9.29 meters per second. So that's how fast it's going in the x direction after they collide. I'm going to do 12.5 times sine of 42 and I get 8.36, and that's how fast it's going in the y direction. 
using that, we should be able to, it should help us find how fast they're each going. So I'm going to do momentum initial in the x is equal to momentum final in the x. So at the very beginning, uh, the first car is going to, in the x direction, v1. The second, the escalator is going 1300, but it's only going up. So in the x direction, it's going 0 meters per second before it crashes. We know when they both crash, they stick together, so it's 950 plus 1300. And they both move in the x direction with a velocity of 9.29 meters per second. Now let's find that velocity of that first car. 950 plus 1300 times 9.29. Uh, divide this by 950. And we see that the first car was going 22 meters per second. Okay, so this is the first car right here. 22 meters per second before they collide. The second car, now we're going to analyze the y direction. The, before the collision and after the collision. So before the collision, the first car, 950, is only going to the right, so there's no velocity in the y direction, so it's just going to be zero. Plus, in the Escalade, 1,300 kilograms is moving with a certain velocity in the y direction, which we don't know. After they hit, uh, they're going to stick together, and they have a velocity in the y direction of 8.36 meters per second. Now we can find what this second uh, velocity of the escalator is. So I'm going to do 950 plus 1300, and then multiply that by 8.36, and then divide by 1300. And we get 14.47 meters per second. Okay? So we see that the escalator was going slower. Okay. All right, we're going to do one last one. This one's a bit harder. Um, but if you guys can do this one, you guys should be good with this whole kind of topic with 2D perfectly in elastic collisions. All right, so let's look at this. An 860 kilogram escalator traveling 40 meters per second has a perfect uh, inelastic collision with a 220 kilogram Mini Cooper traveling 22 meters per second at 73 degrees. Find the speed of the two cars after the collision. Okay, so let's figure this out. The first thing we want to do, since this car is moving at an angle like this, uh, it's moving at 22 meters per second at an angle of 73 degrees, let's see first how fast it's moving in initially in the x direction and initially in the y direction. So I'm going to do 22 times cosine of 73, and I see that's going to be equal to 6.43 meters per second. And let's find the initial in the y direction, so 22 times sine of 73. Whoops. Which is going to be 21.04. Okay. So now we found the initial in the X, initial in the Y. Now let's find the speed of the two cars after the collision. So now we're going to look after the collision. So we're going to do again momentum initial in the X and momentum uh, final in the X after the collision. So we have the, we're going to, let's first look at the Escalade. So we're going to look at the Escalade that has a mass of 860, has a velocity of 40 meters per second to the east, so it's just 40. Now let's look at the other car, the Mini Cooper, which has a mass of 220. And it has a velocity in the x direction of 6.43. So we're going to put that, because before it crashes, it's going 6.43 meters per second in the x direction. Uh, so then this is going to be equal to, they're both going to stick together, so 860 plus 220. It's going to have a final velocity in the x direction. So let's do some math to figure that out. 860 times 40 plus 220 times 6.43. And then divide this by 860 plus 220. And we should get 33.16 meters per second in the x direction after they collide. Okay, so after they collide, we know it's going in the x direction, 33.16. Now let's look at the y. Momentum initial in the y equals momentum final in the y. So before the crash, the Escalade, 860 kilograms. But it's only going to the east, so there's no velocity in the y, so that's just zero. The other car, the Mini Cooper, has a mass of 220. And before it collides, it has a velocity in the y direction of 21.04. Okay. They both collide and they stick together. And then they're going to have, a, we can find what the final velocity in the y direction is. So let's try to figure that out. 220 times 21.04, and 
and divide this by 860 plus 220. And what we get is 4.29 meters per second. Okay, so we know in the y direction, it's going to be 4.29. Now let's combine this. So we know the final velocity in the x direction is 33.16, and the y direction is 4.29. And now let's find the com combined speed after the collide. So that's going to be this right here, the hypotenuse. So I'm just going to do 33.16 squared plus 4.29 squared, and the square root of that, and we get 33.44 meters per second. Hope that all made sense. Watch it back if you had any questions or anything. And next time, we're going to be talking about inelastic collisions where things are bouncing.